right, so here is one of the regular comfort stations. If you stay in one of the loops that are not the group camping, they have a house phone. It'll tell you what comfort station you're at. A directory so you know who you're calling. Also has a pay phone here. Okay, they also have washers and dryers. They sell detergent and they actually have a change machine here, which they never had before. This must be new. So you can pay with a credit or debit card. Here's the old school change machine. All right, so here they have a little table for you to fold your clothes. They have one, two, three, four, five washing machines. So it'll be 250 per wash, that's not bad. Here's a sink if you need to pre-treat anything or just get detergent on your hands. You need to rinse something before you put it in there. They have paper towels. They have another folding table here with a little chair if you want to sit there and wait. And they have two, four, six dryers, also $2.50 for drying, not bad. And here is the detergent you can buy if you don't bring your own, if you happen to forget it. They have detergent and they have dryer sheets as well. And let's see if it'll say how much. I don't see how much they are. Oh, okay, so if I hit 13, so it's a dollar. So one dollar for the detergent and let's see how much. And a dollar for the dryer sheets. So it looks like you get two dryer sheets. So I really don't think that's bad. This is a nice little air conditioned room. And once again, this is one of the comfort stations. They usually have one or two per loop. So you can use. Okay, now if nobody's in the restrooms, I will show you the restrooms. Here's another payphone. So there's two payphones out here. Once again, at all the comfort stations, it has campground information. It has park information. They have a nice little bench here where you could sit while you're waiting for, if you're waiting on somebody. All right. So here is the restroom and they are pretty much generally all like this and all the loops. I just wanted to show you one of them and I'm assuming that the men's is generally the same thing. So you come here, brush your teeth. If you're in a tent or if you're in an RV or whatnot, just come here, wash your hands. They have little hooks here. So as to be expected, they are always really clean. So they have one handicap and three regular stalls. They have a garbage can there. Really nice tile, I love their tile. Nice ceiling fixtures. They have a mirror here, they have for you to Look at yourself. 
I have outlets if you wanted to come along and dry your hair or use a curling iron. Believe me, I've seen a lot of people do it. I have never gone to that extreme. Nice tile. There's a baby changing station. And these are the showers. And generally they're pretty clean. I've only seen them not clean once in a while and that's only because of the people. You can't really blame Fort Wilderness for that. So this is a typical shower. They have a little cubby there for you to put your soap, shampoo, razors, whatever you might need. It has a curtain. Then you have a little changing station where you can take your clothes off, get dressed, whatnot. And then it also has a door. So once again, very private. The creases in here are pretty small, so nobody's going to be looking in on you while you're taking your shower. There's this. And once again, you get a curtain. Okay, then we got the handicap stall, which is basically the same thing. So they have they're handicap accessible. They also have, of course, a longer shower nozzle so that people could take showers that have special needs. And this is large enough also that you could bring a stroller in here if you have a, a little one that you won't want running around or you have no choice but to bring them in here with you. All right. And then they have this little bench here and they have lots of hooks where you can hang your towels while you're getting ready or your bag. All right. So that does it for the bathroom. They're all generally the same, so I'm not going to show you any more of these because it's pretty much all the same thing. Like I said, there should be one or two at least in every loop and they're all generally the same. So there are the bathrooms at Fort Wilderness Campground. <laughs> All right, bye.